Okay, um, Jasmine, I, I want to go to you for a second because you brought two children into this situation. Yes. Your two children inherited a crew. Um, <laughs> and they love it. <laughs> they love it? Yes. Well, my two, um, the two oldest, they're both girls. Um, they're teenagers. My oldest is 15 and the second oldest is 13. Um, since my second oldest was about four months, that's how long I've been involved with this. And they grew up knowing him as that because their fathers, because they do, they each have their own father. Um, their fathers were not involved physically, financially, any of that it was all him and her. So they grew up already acknowledging him as dad. Now, when they got to the age of understanding, I did, you know, let them know who their real fathers are. And um, every now and then they'll see them, but it wasn't like a consistent basis. Um, they do communicate with them, but it's not the same relationship as they do have with him. So They've been exposed to a lot, but they know what love is and they know what it's like to have a father in their life because of him. And gotcha. that was really my goal because I grew up having my father in my life. So I always wanted my children to have the same. Um, my mother wasn't really in the picture like that, but now she is. Like she's the world's greatest grandma to all the kids, not just mine, but theirs too. Mm -hmm. She spoils all of them. So, um, you know, thanks, you know, Things weren't the best in the beginning, but they're very well now. Got you. Uh, you, you know, I want to stick with the kids for, for a sec. Mm -hmm. How, is this just normal to have two mommies and, and a dad in the house? And mm -hmm. do any of the kids oppose it? Are any of them just super conservative? Like, I can't wait to get up out this house because this... <laughs> They all say that and then they end up coming back. Like the two adult ones that we have here now. <laughs> um, for the most part, they like the attention. Um, mm -hmm. For you. some odd reason, when they go to school, like um, the, the praises that they get, like one year, our oldest son, mm -hmm. his teacher set up a fake parent-teacher conference just to meet us because our son was going to school bragging about having a whole bunch of siblings. And my dad makes music and he was on TV and my mom does modeling and all this stuff. And she literally just was like, I just wanted to meet you guys because he brags about y'all so much. I had to see for myself. And I was just like, really lady, there's nothing really wrong with my kid here. And that, you know, none of that. She just, that was her way of meeting us personally because they go to school bragging about having this lifestyle and the kids are like, you got two moms ready? Well, do you call them both mom? And I'm like, yeah, they do. And they do. I'm mama J. She's mama A. Yep. That's how we're addressed. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I asked you guys, uh, the two wives, I'm, I'm speaking Alicia and, and Jasmine, about jealousy. Is there any jealousy from the kids? Do, do, do any of the kids look and say, you know, Mama J spends way too much time with, you know, these kids over here. And Mama A spends way too much time with these kids, or do they just accept you all as, um, this yeah, is mom yeah. and this is dad? Yeah, they, they get jealous over a little, yes. you know, some stuff. Like, um, now I had to break it down to my mom and them, um, because in the beginning, my mom was just only catering to my children. So when she would come over with gifts and stuff, the other kids did feel some kind of way because they're always getting pampered. But that was just her being a grandmother. She didn't think it was nothing wrong with it. She's like, you know, they're, they're my grandkids. But I kind of had to throw it at her like, hey, you know, the other kids are fun in some kind of way. And they do acknowledge you as Lala because they don't call her grandma. She is not a grandmother for the record. She says she's too young for that. So they call her Lala. <laughs> so, yeah, they call her Lala and they call my dad Pop Pop. So, um, <coughs> She didn't realize the effect it was having on the other kids. So she started doing for all the other kids. And because she was like, well, I wasn't trying to, you know, throw it in their face or anything. I was just being grandma, you know. Um, but now that she comes around and she has gifts for everybody, it's it's a little easier for everyone to accept and deal with because no one's being left out or, you know, they always feel like they always get to go out and don't do this. And 
we, you know, little things like that, because my family started, you know, coming around after a while and, you know, grabbing kids here and there. But now when they come to get mine, they grab hers too. And I'm like, hey, you know, if you're taking these ones, we'll take these boys too. Or if you're taking these girls, take those girls too, because this is my family. These are my kids as well. So if you're going to accept me and my package, then I need to see you accept me and my package. Right. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.